So guys, today we're going to be doing a test, fairly scientific, fairly not scientific, and what we're going to be testing today is just how fast these three different tools can process through wood. Now, this is not going to be a test to necessarily say which one is the best option you can possibly carry or what you need to have. This is more just a fun video to test to see just how fast each one of these systems the chopping knife, the saw, and the axe all around the same size and capability range, how well they perform, just how well and how fast they do their job, how clean they do their job, and overall just how fast they do their job in comparison to each other. Once again, this isn't necessarily a video that will try to persuade you to choose an ax or persuade you to choose a saw or persuade you to choose a knife. This is simply just a fun test video to show you guys how fast each one of these particular tools processes wood. So guys, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And now, without any further ado, let's go see how capable these tools are in comparison to each other. So to start off this test, we will be using the saw. And this is, for those who don't know, just to quickly state, this is the Silky Big Boy saw. And this is the GBA, Scandi Forest Axe. And this is the Buck Thug just for those who are wondering what these three particular tools are and what I'll be using. So you guys can see they're pretty fast. Once again, this is still a piece of wood, even though it's dead looking, it still is a pretty solid piece of wood. And as you can see there, it definitely still took some time to chew right through that. So guys, there you could see the, this is the saw cut piece, or sorry, this is the axe cut piece. And you can see the saw cut piece. This certainly took a little bit more time, but was still, all things being considered, quite fast. So once again, going to the axes, it's definitely a little bit slower than a saw, but still probably my favorite way of processing wood. There's just something about swinging an axe and just watching the dynamics of it work that I personally have always really loved. However, for actual practicality, the axe may not be the best. Anyways, now let's go over to probably the slowest and least best method, the knife. But do keep in mind, this knife is pretty impressive. I've already chopped a bit with it. It's more impressive than you might think.
guys. Hopefully you enjoy all the aircraft in the background. <laughs> There's quite a bit of aviation going on today. But anyways, hopefully you guys liked that quick field test once again, or that quick use test. Once again, this test wasn't so much to compare or say which one is the absolute best one, but to rather just stack them all three against each other, just so that you can get an idea of just how fast or how slow one particular option is. So this was definitely, and I knew it would be the slowest, but the Buck Thug was definitely the slowest. And in fairness, as far as chopping knives go, this knife is actually no slouch when it comes to chopping. Because of its very pronounced belly here and the way you hold it, it's actually extremely capable in chopping. But the fact of the matter is it's still a knife and knives just are never designed to chop. However, this knife can do a pretty good job at chopping and then turn around and do a really good job at a multitude of other tasks. And I'm gonna be doing a separate video on a one tool options kind of setup and in practice. And in that video, we'll more clearly see just how good this knife is and why you might actually want to end up going with a knife like this. So obviously the fastest was this. Of course, the saw is quite fast and pretty rightfully so. The saw is definitely good at what it does. Saws have always reminded me and the basic philosophy to a saw is that it is a really good one. It's, it's really good at doing one thing and that is cutting through wood very fast. Things like axes, things like knives, they can do other things like splitting wood and making feather sticks carving out uh, notches, stuff like that. You can do that with knives and axes. This is legitimately only good at cutting through wood. So it can cut through wood really fast. But, however, it is very nice to have, especially if you can have that option of carrying something that's specifically just with one purpose driven. This is a very nice option. And saws are always very very nice very fast at what they do but once again the biggest sacrifice with a saw is the fact is it can only do one thing and that's cut through wood it can't really split through wood it can't really carve notches feather stick definitely can't feather stick and stuff like that so it's pretty limited that's what kind of leads me back to ultimately my love for axes axes are really good in between ground where you guys can see it was still especially this Scandi Forest Axe, it's still adequately fast at cutting through wood. Not as fast as a saw, but definitely not as slow as the knife. But at the same time, you can still feather stick. You can make notches. It's hard to make notches, but you can still definitely do it with this. And you can still do a whole bunch of things with this axe because it has a blade and not a saw. Or not saw teeth. So that is one of the primary reasons why I do love the axe. However, the knife is quite better at doing notching, feather sticking, stuff like that. This is kind of a jack of all trades. Whereas these other two, if pressed into the roll, this can chop. But for the most part, this is designed for notching, feather sticking, doing knife tasks. And this is just designed to cut through wood really fast. However, this knife or this axe does have its own unique fact in the way that it can split wood very well, even this GBA. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and ultimately I hope you guys have learned something. I really just wanted to do this video just so that you could kind of get an idea of how fast different methods were for processing large, a large or at least decent sized piece of wood and bucking it down. It's definitely one of the hardest and most time consuming processes for a woodsman. So it's nice to know what these different options are and how they perform. Also help determine what kind of tools that you guys want to bring into the field. If you can, you know, taking a saw and a knife or a smaller knife than this might be a really good option. Sometimes if you can really only take one thing, sometimes taking the ax is really the best thing to take. But either way guys, hopefully you've learned something and at least saw and were entertained by me chopping up a bunch of wood. Anyways guys, that's all for now and I'm out.